little bit. guys what is happening welcome back to a brand new video today what we're doing obviously you, you would have already have saw my brother's new car so what we're doing today is we're just going to give it a cheeky wash we're going to show you through the process of what he does what we do um obviously i'm not i'm not no professional detailer and that but i've looked into it for years and years and years and what stages to do this and stages to do that so we're going to do like a little decontamination wash probably iron out clay bar that kind of stuff because he has got some contaminants on the actual car um say hello lou tonk lou so uh yeah we're just gonna give it a wash and uh i'll show you how we get on so let's go right then guys we are gonna give my brother's new cupra um a cheeky wash so it's a cupra 280 uh, with a few little trick bits on it um, we're just going to give you a little cheeky wash today, show you along the wash process, give you a bit of content. Uh, he hasn't washed it in a little while, so it is, it is pretty dirty to his standards anyway. You don't let it get this dirty, do you? No. Yeah. So yeah, it's not the dirtiest, but we're going to give it a nice little clean. So, you can collect dirt at the back. There's a little bit done it, it's not too bad yeah. but yes yeah, so let's, let's give her a wash. So we've uh, give the car a quick once over first. Normally this is like the go to, just give it a rinse. If there's any dirt that's stuck to the paint, that the water might get off, then uh, get off we've got. So the thing with wheels, they look, sometimes when they're wet, they look lovely and clean. And then as they dry up, they look dusty. Is it, are they just dusty or are they, yeah. is it just the blue color that they are? <laughs> oh yeah, it's quite Too black. Dirty. Well, so as you can see, here's where the dirt is lying, literally. Normally, your car will get dirty around where the wheels spat. So you get like, obviously, over bit down there. Yeah. Well, so what we're gonna use first, we've got bear care, all purpose cleaner. We're gonna just give that a spray on like the lower half of the car where the dirt mainly is.
man, how thick, he, how thick is that? Yo, if you like thick snow plum, that is banging. Oof. What's up? Ease care, Arctic, meltdown, snow foam. What, you get the lunch with that as well? Yeah, well, when I bought it, I had the deal. I think you got that, shampoo and uh, the lunch. It was only like 35 quid, 40 quid. Serious. Banging, yeah. Sweet, man. Doing a good job on the car anyway. It's nice and thick. And it smells like an apple scent, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. premium snow foam from Bear Care. We've got, what wash bits that? Yeah. Have any right. idea? Uh, no idea. Uh, using a two bucket method. An ease care one, I think. Is it? So yeah, I'm just gonna go over the car and give it a good old wash. I'm gonna find one which is probably gonna be like 20, 24, five. What are you doing now? Just going over. What's that you got in your hand? I don't know, you gave it me to be fair. Yeah, it's a clay block from Karma Collective and then what's the stuff using? Glowed clay loo. Yep. Let's just get the decontaminants off of it. So we've done the iron out procedure, bug and tar. Now we're just doing the uh, the old clay barring. Right, so we've give it a good old clean. It's had some ceramic spray wax put on it. It's had some Carnuba. What was it, Carnuba cream or some shit like that? Oh, to be fair though, in the camera, it looks like night and day different, man, with glass levels. I think it looks those better for when you first saw it. Yeah, man. That looks absolutely sick. I just want to finish up the video because I kind of like left it kind of high and dry on the uh, as I was editing it. So I just want to say thank you for everyone that watches the videos. I appreciate it massively. Like you don't even you don't even understand how much I appreciate. It. Um, I know that I've spoke a lot in it. I'm not going to go. Out. I'm going to talk about it too long, but. I just know that this is my passion, this is what I enjoy doing. Sometimes I fall off the bandwagon and I just disappear for time. Um, but I have got, on the memory card at the moment, I've got five videos um, I've got to tinker with and upload. So once they're uploaded, um, I did bought, bought myself a new little mic, the little road mics and that. So we'll hopefully have better quality footage. Um, on this, I'm having a little play about. Um, I find it hard to structure videos and how I'm going to plan shots and stuff. I find that because I'm like a one-man band. I find it hard to get these fancy angles where I watch some videos and I'm like, I wish I could do that, but because I'm doing it and I'm trying to film it, it's very difficult for what I want, but I'm trying to do it, I'm trying to do it, we're going to get there eventually, but uh, yeah, hope you like the video, hope you like my brother's new car, um, let me know what you think, um, if you want to see any videos done to it, there's a couple of things we're thinking about doing at the moment, um, but we see what happens with that. Um, I'm thinking about tech as well. Um, I know if you go onto my most viewed videos, there's like two or three most viewed videos are a ring doorbell and they are my alarm. 
Um, and I just thought, should I do some tech stuff on that? Because it it adds to the house. It's like I'm not I'm not beating around the bush. Do you know what I mean? Like working on the car, working on the car, working on the car. I feel like I could add value to in the house and do things around the house. And I think that would be good because it's still my home, if that makes sense. Um, I've got a couple of things going on in the background at the minute. Uh, just made it a bit difficult for myself to be spunky loads of money um i would love to be doing silly builds and stuff but in the grand scheme of thing youtube is just my hobby um cars my hobby and that as well but I'll, i don't think i could justify spending like six to ten grand on like an engine build and stuff like that do you know what i mean like i would love to say yes guys we're doing that but uh obviously my house and that comes first and that's that's obviously what i want i want to develop into the next house and that and um throwing six to ten get K into a McGann. It's just it's not gonna do anything, do you know what I mean? It's not gonna generate views, it's not gonna it's, it just is what it is, I guess. I'm not uh, gonna try waffle on too much and that, but I need to treat YouTubers like a business, as if it was a business plan on how I was gonna do it. Because yes, I know it's a hobby, but I would like to take this further. So as I said, I've got like five videos lined up and then I'm going to have a tinker around with things in these next couple of videos just to try and find myself. I still, no one came in, haven't found my boom, what works properly for me. So hopefully with these next couple of videos, we can be posting some absolute bangers and that. So uh, yeah, and then the audio, if I have some GoPro shots inside the car and that, and they're a bit funny, um, my new ones have got the mic on. So hopefully the sound will be a lot better. So uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe and that. We're nearly at 10k. The road to 10k. We are nearly there. So uh, yeah, thanks everyone. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.